Hey everybody, Adam here with another episode from Hometown Acres. A little different type of video for today. Uh, today's video is called Tractor Shopping, Watch This. If you're new to the channel, we have about 44 acres of property to maintain here. If you've been following our channel, you know that I've been borrowing my neighbor's John Deere 2032 for projects around the property in the past, but I have a ton more projects lined up for this summer that I could use a tractor for, and I don't wanna be borrowing his tractor more than he's using it. I just don't think that's fair. Um, but I've put a fair amount of work into researching which one I should buy and thought that somebody else out there might be able to benefit from my research. This spreadsheet is based on the size tractor that I'm looking for, which is about a 25 horsepower tractor, but I'm looking for that with a larger frame and a larger loader. Um, with that said, you could use this spreadsheet as a template to compare anything you want to buy from you know tractors to cars to whatever. Um, I got all the specs for these tractors from the manufacturing websites and brochures and also tractordata.com. Tractordata.com is a great resource to have everybody's information organized in the same format. Um, I also want to disclaim that this video is also strictly based on numbers. Um, I have not sat in the seat of any of these tractors. This is just my preliminary research before I start heading to the dealers. Uh, things like comfort in the seat, ergonomics, drivability, and your experience with the dealer are things that can't be measured with statistics or specifications. Um, so how this spreadsheet is laid out is I have seven tractors that I'm comparing in columns and the specifications that I thought were most important to me in the rows. Um, so for the tractors that I have picked out, we have the Coyote CK2610, the Massey Ferguson 1726E, the LS XG3025, the Kubota L2501, the Kubota B2650, which is actually a smaller frame, um, but I'm still considering it just because it is quite capable for the smaller frame, uh, John Deere 3025, and the New Holland Workmaster 25. Uh, for the specifications that I picked, uh, I chose price, and these were all quotes that I actually got over the phone from my local dealers, gross engine horsepower, PTO horsepower, max speed, hydraulic flow, loader lift capacity, loader lift height capacity, and tractor weight and the three-point lift capacity. Uh, let me know in the comments below if I left anything out, um, you know, a specific tractor or an important specification that I should be considering when buying a tractor. Again, this is shopping for my first tractor, so I have a lot to learn, but I'm open to suggestion in the comments below. Um, so next, I assigned a, a best, a second best, and a third best ranking for how each tractor ranks in each of those specifications. First best is green and is worth three points. Second best is yellow and is worth two points. And third best is red and worth one point. Uh, I'm not going to go over each stat on each tractor or else this video would drag on forever. Um, but you can pause and analyze for yourself. Uh, when everything was totaled up, the results were pretty interesting. Um, the more expensive and more reputable, like John Deere and Massey Ferguson, appeared to be less capable, uh, while the non-name brands like Coyote and LS seemed to score better. Uh, New Holland was kind of the middle of the road because it's a more reputable name brand, um, and it actually tied for second with the LS. Uh, it appears that the Coyote actually blew everybody else out of the water. Again, this is just based on the stats that I picked. But from what I picked, it looks like the Coyote is a little bit more capable. Um, and again, this is just my preliminary research. And after I visit dealers and sit in the seats, this could all get thrown out the window. Um, but I hope this video helps in your tractor shopping. I hope it gives you an extra tool in making your purchasing decision. Um, but if you want to follow along our, with our channel, please consider subscribing and hopefully we'll have a new piece of equipment here on the property shortly. Um, also check out our Instagram page. It's uh, underscore hometown acres underscore. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching.